What I want to do is to put on this Makuni carburetor on my BSA 650 Thunderbolt and take away this which is the ammo carburetor. I'm just not happy with the running of this ammo. It's a bit worn anyway. So I want to put on this Makuni. So I'm going to make up an adapter plate that's going to connect this to the inlet manifold. So this is the inlet manifold here, which I need to make an adapter plate to connect it to the, the new carburetor. So what I've done is I've got a piece of steel here. This is in my face plate. I'm a bit lazy to put a four jaw chuck in, so I'm just going to bore it out using the face plate, which is a lot easier. So I've gone through the 25mm drill, now I can bore it out to the right side. So yeah, I'm boring it out. This is going to take this part here, which I made earlier. You notice there's a shoulder on there, so that will fit into there snugly. And then I'll put a chamfer on here and that, where, that is where I will weld it up. So this is a nice snug fit. That will be banged in up to that face there. And then I can weld on the other side. This will connect the two flanges. One for the intake and the other one for the carburetor. The other two plates made up. This is the connector piece. This will fit into there and that will get welded in. I'm getting ready to cut the shape here. And this one will also be cut to shape. Just a point in case as to how bad this carburetor has been machined. I don't know if you can see how thick that edge is there compared to I think it's on that side. Looks like it's been machined slightly off center. So these two flanges have been cut. Now I can weld it up. So here it's all welded up. The next is to machine this face flat. So here's it all bolted up. Face is all machined flat. Test fit, looking, looking not too bad. So just a pointer on this, this Makuni carburetor is a 32 millimeter. The original BSA was a 28 millimeter. But what I've done is I've kept this inlet manifold, which is an extension that I've made there, parallel. So it's all 28 millimeter, so that I get the suction to get the fuel from there into the engine. Seems to work fine. First kick idles nicely now. Nowhere on the carburetor. Just looking at the records, this carburetor came off a 1972 Yamaha RT2. So that was the, the DT360 of the day. Um, also a good, a good bike. But uh, it seems to work pretty well, even though it's a 32mm. On a 28 inlet, no problems.